two in the field questions for you, Samili. I have a student asking from within our Telegram group a very good question, saying that he or she has very little time until his or her exam, wants to know which Melman Medical PDF or PDFs he or she should go through, okay? And I can give you a very fucking consolidated answer here. This is not going to be a lengthy or dramatic clip. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L, M-A-N underscore medical, links down below. Find me on Telegram, links to the Telegram group and channel down below, and I'll start the clip. So the student's asking which Melman medical PDF or PDFs should he or she go through uh, with no time prior to the exam. And as I've made many clips talking about, you need to absolutely go through high yield arrows. Okay, and I'll link it down below. Now, high yield arrows is going to rule in. It's highly specific for you passing the step one. And I've been tutoring for a decade, and many of my students are barely passing or trying to pass. I'd say about 80% of my students are just fighting for that pass. Okay, so a student will come to me, might be sitting at a hypothetical 170 and needs to get a 210 equivalent to pass step one. Yes, pass, fail exam, but internal scores hypothetically. So a student needs to close the gap on, let's say, 40 points, 30 points. And rather than going off and studying nonsense, such as lateral pontine syndrome, we need you knowing what are your fucking arrows for potassium, sodium, bicarbon, pH for high versus low aldosterone? What about urinary versus serum osmolality in DI, SIDH, psychogenic polydipsia? You need to know DKA, electrolytes, renal failure, okay, it's PTH, vitamin D, the shock arrows, okay, cardiogenic, septic, hypovolemic shock, your bleeding time, PT, PTT. So there's many important basic endocrine pathophys parameters you need to be aware of. High yield arrows is going to help you close that gap. We're talking the points from you're not passing to, holy shit, I'm fucking passing now. Whether it's the comp CBSC, some schools require you guys to sit that. Other students here, you just want to pass the step one. Many of you just trying to pass the step two. It's a different uh, subject altogether, but you, you really need to hammer home the internal medicine and surgery concepts. I'd say my PDFs, you can do the four high yield mixed reviews, which are internal medicine. You do my surgery PDF. High yield arrows for 2CK, you can absolutely do it, but it's mostly a step one focus, okay? So the point is, if you know high yield arrows PDF, the chance of you passing the step one significantly augmented. As I just fucking said, it's a highly specific PDF. It rules in you passing, okay? Very effective. You know the deal. To make more content, if you like my stuff, subscribe my channel. I appreciate your time. That's it.